Theater. Yes. All right, very nice. Now, recently, you folks won a competition. We did. So we took our show, Our Place, to the regional competition here. Um, and then from there, we got to go to the state festival. And now we are going all the way to internationals to showcase the best theater in West Virginia. And who have you brought with you? So I have two of my lovely students. I have Maddie Henry here. And then I also have Zoe Livy. Zoe, Maddie, good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. And what is your role in our place? And come closer to your microphones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there you go so we can all hear you. So I, pl I play Beth. Um, it is the second scene, and it's about a 40-ish year old woman, and that scene is her and her dad, and she's trying to get her dad to remember. She takes him back to the dock that they grew up at, he took her fishing at, and she's just trying to get him to remember kind of anything about where they are. And Maddie? I play Brenda. Um, it's the same doc. Um, we're going out as a family trip, and there's four of us, so it's my husband and then two kids. Um, How long have you been married, Maddie? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Uh, too long. Too long. Oh, she, she knows exactly what she's doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Uh, first and foremost, uh, when is... The, the international play that you're going to compete yeah, in? Yeah, so internationals is actually over the summer. So we're competing from June 19th through the 24th, but we are doing a community theater performance of it at the Apollo, and that is on May 25th at 7 p.m. May 25th. And, yeah. and this is a, a way of trying to raise some money for the trip? Exactly, yes. Okay, so give me the details about how you're going to be raising the money. Yeah, so right now we're looking at about $30,000. That's a <laughs> lot of raising. Pretty raisin. crazy. So far, we are super grateful that we've raised almost about $10,000. We're doing really good um this huge performance that we're doing at uh the apollo is hopefully gonna help us with ticket sales getting those prices up um and then we also have a gofundme that people can donate on as well john gilstrap where do you have to go where's where's the international competition so the competition this year is in indiana oddly enough <laughs> At least it's close. Yeah, I mean, relatively not too far. speaking, you don't have to go to California or something. And uh, Indiana University. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Well, you know, he's got some show business experience. You do. I do. I do. You're well, gonna begin the show. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, I'm a writer, so I've I've written some screenplays and and some books. And, okay. Cool. And when I was in high school, I was a thespian. So nice. Okay. Was, all right, so how else are you raising the 30000 So we're doing a bunch of in-school fundraisers and stuff as well. So we have like a, we just did a pie-in-the-face fundraiser. Right now, all of my students are selling Scentsy. So if you want to buy some Scentsy products, find a Martinsburg Thespian. Um, but all of the fundraisers that we're... All right, you have to go back. Cause What's a Scentsy? Me and John do not know <laughs> what Scentsy products are. We don't have a clue. Some of them didn't either. I had to educate Of course, them. I still use a pager. So. <laughs> so it's like these like wax melts. So instead of like a normal candle, that you would light, you, they're electric, so you can plug them in. Oh, yeah, my wife has those. Yeah, yeah, of course, all the women I know. just didn't know what the name of it was. Yeah, so we're selling Scentsy products. I just called it that plug-in thing. <laughs> yeah. That works. We get what you mean. Okay, so you're selling Scentsy products. Where are you yes. selling those, and how do you get them? So you can meet with anyone in our troop is selling those right now, and we have a ton of information about all the fundraisers we're doing on our website. So our website right now is Martinsburg High. T H E dot Wix site dot com slash Martinsburg High. And if you go to that website, there's a huge thing that says donations, and you can find all of our fundraisers right now. You can find the dates of our shows. You can click and donate to the GoFundMe. You can find Sensi stuff. So, yeah, going to that website is the most helpful. Okay, we, good. We also sure. have a bunch of stuff on um, our our Instagram and Facebook at the dot MHS dot theater. Okay. Uh, Zoe, are you a senior? No, junior. Well, junior, Maddie? Senior. Senior. Okay, very good. So how long have you guys been in, in the school theater? My freshman year. So you've since since you were ninth, did you do like community at the Apollo and the kids theater there? No, uh, as soon as I came to high school was when mm. I um, finally got into theater. I wanted to do it beforehand. I just didn't have the opportunity. I have a really busy schedule. But as soon as I got to high school, I jumped in and started doing plays. Very nice. How about you, Zoe? So I've always been a dancer, and I didn't get to into theater I was going to my freshman year, but then that was COVID online school. So my sophomore year was my first ever theater anything, because um, I, I was always a dancer growing up, so it was, it was a bit new to me. Mm -hmm. But we do have a lot of people in our troupe who grew up at the Apollo, who like their life has been spent there. Yeah, absolutely. How many people are you transporting to Indiana this June? So Kelly? we have got 15 students, and then we have three parents that are going as well. 
15 students, three parents. Are you guys yes. all driving out in, in cars and whatever? So we're taking a huge charter bus. Oh, nice. Yeah, we get to be stuck on that with all these crazy goons. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, huge charter bus. Okay, and how long will you be out? Did you say three days? Um, no, it's a, it's a week. So it's the 19th through the 24th. 19th through 24th. That's right. And how many times will you perform our place? We are performing it once here before we leave. Actually, twice here. Once for the school, once for the community, and then we'll perform it there only one time before we leave. And then they'll do like adjudications to tell us how we did throughout the show. Okay. And when did you compete to win Best in State? Um, we competed at the very end of March, early April, so or April 1st. Where did you go for that? That was at West Virginia University. And how many schools did you compete against? That was about, what do you guys think? How many did you 15. Count? It was, it was, um, I believe it was 12 other schools, 13 including us. Okay, gotcha. We have a, like a, she's a state thespian officer, so she's one of the students that represents the entire state as one of the thespians, which is cool. So do you know what plays, they're all one acts? Yes. Do you know what you're competing against? We do. I have a list at the school. You guys can look at it. <laughs> Why do you think you won in West Virginia? Um. So our show is a big story about community and i think you know we have this big epilogue at the end that brings all of these different vignettes together and they do such a good job at showing us why theater is important to our community and why community is important in the first place so i think it just really resonates with everyone in the audience and allows them to connect with the fact that community is so very important and that's something they wanted to showcase at internationals how many, what, what's your male-female breakdown in terms of the troop? Oh, goodness. You guys Relatively speaking. I'm going to say probably. 80 female, 20 male. Something like that, yeah. We have okay. a lot more yeah. girls than guys. Is everybody able to make it in June? Mm -hmm. Not everyone. We've had to recast about two or three roles. How big is the cast? Uh, 14 people. 14. That's a pretty good show. 13 or 14, yeah. Now, who are your emergency backups in case somebody before the trip says we can't oh, right go? Right here. Hi. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm picking up a new role for the international competition. Um, I'm giving my original role to my understudy, and I'm going to pick up the first scene role of this girl. Her name is Anne. Um, she comes in and she finds her ex-boyfriend on the dock with a new girl, and she's there with a new guy. Right. And it plays out with like the scene of her finding them there. Maddie, I want you to know that I would never do that. <laughs> Just not polite. Uh, so you need thirty thousand dollars total. You got about ten raised, so you needed about another twenty or so. That's right. Plus maybe some little cushion money in there too, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Okay. And again, if people would like to donate, how do they do that? You can do that on our website. Again, a little confusing of a website, but it is Martinsburg High T H E dot wixite. That's W I X I S I T E dot com slash Martinsburg High. Okay, and you can also buy tickets to, at the Apollo yes. when you present this again soon, and that's going to be when? That is March, or May 25th, sorry, May 25th at 7 p.m. And one act play, so how long to, to the whole play? About 40, 45 minutes. Okay, now you said this is international competition. Does that mean there's schools from other countries that are coming? Yes, yep, there's schools from all over, so United States, and I believe there's some other schools showcasing from other countries as well. John, about a minute left. Wait. When you when you take a production on the road, the scenery and the, you know, the sets and all that sort of thing, mm -hmm. are, are the actors also the, the gaffers or is, is, yeah. is, is there a crew that comes along? There's a crew that comes along too. So we have, we have what, two or three techies, mm -hmm. I think, that are coming to help. And then we have two or three people that are just taking tech projects as well. And they're super helpful with the show as well. Um, our set isn't too crazy for this show. So we have about, what? 13, 10 ish logs that we have in our set um, because it takes place on a dock. But we're super lucky that everything really fits under the charter bus and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, we just throw it under there. And everything's got to, everything and everybody has to fit on that bus, exactly, right? Exactly, yes. Are there any parents going out and pickup trucks or whatever that are going to be hauling stuff? There were. So, at States, we had one U haul that we use. We're hoping all of this just fits under the charter bus this time, but I'll be driving this time just to make sure. <laughs> well, best of luck to all of you. Maddie, Zoe, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And Kelly, again, when can or uh, how can people find out how to uh, uh, sorry, contribute? Yes, so you can go one more time to that website. It is martinsburghighthe.wixsite.com slash martinsburghigh. Well, thanks so much for coming in, and best of luck to you. Have a great performance at the Apollo, and bring home another first place at the international yes, competition. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thanks.